Alright, hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while. Um, there's a reason being, uh, it's not the greatest reason, but uh, it's actually pretty pretty bad and sad. So, anyways, um, I haven't made a video, I haven't made a video in a couple months. I haven't even checked on my YouTube, did any of that in a couple months. Um, and what happened was, I basically, like, just stopped. Uh, it was weird, like... Um, not gonna lie, and I got addicted to like just something else, and it's not like drugs or anything. It was actually uh, um, it's a bit nerdy. It was actually like a video game, and I'm not gonna lie, I was I was like on it 24/7, and I can't come into the room one day, and I checked out everything and I could just see that they were in just such bad health and not horrible health but you can tell that they lost some weight and um they weren't doing too great so what I'm doing is I just quit that and now I'm taking care of my animals and what I actually might do so this doesn't happen again is I actually might get rid of almost all of them um just because I don't want something like this to happen again and then like they have to suffer and i don't want and i know that they can probably go to a better home if this does happen again but um the male this is actually a female but the male leopard gecko hasn't lost any weight um she still looks okay and um, she looks to be a little bit chunky still but she, you can tell she has lost some weight um then here's the male and i like I just feel horrible about it, so I think my conscience is stronger than anything in my body. I think so. I'm just I'm just not gonna let this down, knowing me. But yeah, see, they ate almost all their mealworms in one night. But also, I was on vacation, so that's why their cages is a little bit dirty. And he actually did bite me. He was the first thing to ever bite me in my whole collection. He was the first one. Um, I don't know. So you guys can see if I can find it. I don't know. It's right there. Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, so he was actually the first one to bite me. And I was so surprised, too. It was like, I picked him up. And what was happening is this, my thermostat that's down there, was rattling. And I think what he interpreted was that it was another leopard gecko wiggling its tail, probably mating. And... He just went berserk, so like, I I picked him up and you could tell he he was uneasy. Like he he was he wasn't feeling too good about me holding him, and then he jumped out of my hand on the um this bed, and then I pick him up off the bed and he's just squirming. He just t turns on, just bites me, and just holds on. Um, it it's, it spooks you more than anything, but yeah, and I because I checked on her. And she had these bite marks and other stuff on them, but I didn't know. And I, that's why I separated them again. If my, my old videos, they were together. And um, that's the only reason I put them. But she had like scars on her back, but that could have also been just from breeding. Um, because I think she was ovulating. So I'm actually glad that I did separate them. If she did become gravid, I probably wouldn't have taken good care of any of the animals. Um, so I'm actually unfortunate because of that reason, but. Like, if I do look under her stomach, she does have... Here, I don't know how good this is going to work. But she does have... Um, little white pockets. Um, I don't think they're eggs. But I just want to know what they are, if you guys know. So, yeah. Um, if I do end up getting rid of all of it. Like, every single animal. Um, I'm probably just gonna get a cicada tortoise uh if you guys are if you guys like tortoises probably know what a cicada tortoise is uh it's because i had one when i was real little and it was like i basically loved it. it was like a dog to me really and i've I always had a passion for tortoises um so i don't i think i might just stick with that because one i think will be good just, just having one reptile instead of four or five, maybe, well, actually, including the ones outside, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have, like, eight reptiles 
There's my baby girl. Luna Tuna. No, I'm just kidding. Her name's Luna. Oh, she's my baby girl. That was like that was my first ever dog. So I love her. Um, Cinnamon's doing good. He did eat, which I was so happy he ate. He's in his hide. I was so happy he ate. I, le I left the rat in there with him. He just it come back, and it's gone. So I, I was happy about that. Um, male pastel, another one I feel bad about. Um, remember that scarring on his back? It looks to be still there. And it looked to have gotten worse. So for him, I'm either one, going to give him to a good home that I know is going to be able to take care of him. Or I'm just going to keep him for now, fix it, and then get, and then have to get rid of him. Um, I He was the one I actually wanted to keep out of all my animals. Um, cause just because he's, he's a good looking pastel, not right now because he's in shed. But he's a good looking pastel. Feeding response is beyond belief. I've I've offered this guy any I I, pr I probably can offer this guy like a water bottle and that's heated up and he'll probably take it. That that's how this guy's feeding response is. He's just an, an amazing animal. Now I did clean his cage yesterday and look at that. So yeah. Um so if if I do have to get rid of all the animals, expect the vids to only be about once a week. Um, I do, um, I am thinking about, sorry if I'm sitting down on the bed. I am thinking about getting a uh, cicada tortoise once I get rid of all my animals. Uh, I still got to go with, through it with my mom because she doesn't want one, I want one. But she thinks it's going to be too hard on her, which is weird because I have four animals now. And she thinks that it's going to be too hard on her when I take all, care of all my animals. I don't even let her take care of my animals because... I want to do it. I want to have the responsibility and I don't want anything to mess up. So um, that's just how I am, which is really weird. Uh, if I know I can do it, I don't I don't really ask for help, which is weird, which I need to actually do sometimes because uh, it's needed. But yeah, um, hopefully tomorrow I'll post a video of the Bearded Dragons. They have gotten a lot bigger. Uh, we were on vacation, so the, there's some poop and stuff in the cages but today I'm, I'm going through and cleaning everybody uh which is good i cleaned i cleaned all them yesterday though all right guys um just rate comment subscribe tell me what you guys think um i truly am sorry for uh not making videos and not taking proper care of my animals and i take full responsibility for it uh i think it a person takes a lot out of out of me too to like because I'm not really one to express my opinion and feelings. So um, to come and tell you guys like the actual truth, I think, is is a big step forward. So Because I don't want to make up a story and just be like, yeah, um, I was on vacation for two and a half months. And I, I don't want to do that. I want to tell you guys how it is. And if you guys want to unsubscribe, I, I understand. Um... But I'm just going to keep on making videos and keep on trying to take care of my animals now. So, Alright guys, like always, have a good one.